needs to deal with Crick Flix. Uh, sorry for that deer in the headlights look on my face. I, my using my phone to run my camera, and my phone is taking pictures while my camera or my phone, my watch is is taking pictures while my phone is video taking. Okay. Anyway, um, I am going to be working on some little baby Tiana princess and the frog however I was going to show you some of my most recent hauls um and I got a bunch of bows and stuff here so I can start sorting them out first of all I at at Michael's they have the bins that when you're checking out are like dollar bins or whatever. Not necessarily dollar, but uh, bins full of, uh, uh, usually under a couple bucks. Um, that's where I used to get the wooden planter boxes that I used for my bases until they ran out. And I haven't been able to get them in months. So my husband does all of that for me. So, but what I did find in those bins are these little plastic um, boxes. They're in the shape of a, a, like a daisy, in the shape of a heart, um, which my husband picked those up for me this morning. This was one of my buys on Amazon. I buy by the bulk. I've got a bunch of bins full of the, the little bows. Uh, I think it's called Gro Grain. I can't remember what it's called, the type of of the fabric that these bows are made out of. They're not the satiny ones, and I, I like them better. I like the size. Absolutely love these. And these were the square boxes I got. And I filled them three with two of the packages of bows that I get on Amazon. Um, they come from China, uh, made in China, Yucca. Um, is the brand. I hope you can see it there on the bag. I can't remember what they paid. I want to say $4.99 a packet. I bought three packs, but they didn't all fit in my little containers. So um, again, right now I'm just going to go over the way that I, I store some things and always pr improving somewhat. Um, these I have the little, I have some little miniature clothespins in here, but I also have the little beads that you can string um, to write names. Um, I had gotten these because I had my baby bracelet. Um, when I was born, the babies didn't get like, now you get hats in some hospitals. There's different things that you get. As the years go on, you get less and less. But we all had one of these with our last name on it. Um, and the beads had blue blue or pink whether it be a boy or a girl they were just little bracelets i had had mine all my life and then lost it have no idea um i thought i'm gonna make one but it's not the same thing because it wasn't the one i got when i was in the hospital or when i was born so but i bought these first um scrapbooking and for uh using them some centerpieces when i find the need or somewhere that they'd be just absolutely perfect i will let you know Right now, I haven't used them. Then, um, I've, I've got, I've showed these before, which are the wood buttons um, that I got also on Amazon. <laughs> Between the people that live across the street, myself, and my daughter, the truck is out there every day. And my husband just shakes his head. But anyway, all of these buttons are all different patterns. They're wood, and they all have different patterns on them. Um, these are one inch size, and then I have uh, the half inch size, or three quarters inch. And I love that they're all, they're just all different patterns on them. And they're just, I'm going to hope, I'm hopefully going to be able to use these soon, either in a scrapbooking um, layout or um, on one of my party favors. And what I like about these boxes, off off top, go from one thing to the next. But these little boxes, um, the lid has a little bit of a lip on them, so when you stack them, they they stay stacked really well. Um, I got these beads in three different sizes, 
I've got three things full of these, and they're different colors. They're wood beads. Um, and I got them in three different sizes because it would depend on the size of my project. But the little ones, I haven't even tried these on the, I don't think these would fit on a three quarter. Um, any, anyone who is, has watched me in the past or most frequently, I've been using these buttons or these balls with holes in them to put on my, um, pegs on my scent pieces. And the reason for that is I will show you on this little, this, this little, um, princess scent piece that I'm going to put together, but I'd ordered three sizes of these and... One order fit two of my little boxes. These are all different shapes because they ran out. Um, I told my husband to go there this morning to get me ten whatever they had, get the rest of them because I still. What I really like about these is the fact that they stack. I can stack them so high, and I've complained on numerous videos. I have mentioned the fact that I forget things that I have because if I can't see them, I forget. So I have another box here that I'll take down in a minute and show you. I even have two boxes. Ah, oh, that was what I was looking for. Looked all over for this stuff under the second box and couldn't find it anywhere. So I ordered all new. And since I've re since my husband redid my office, remade my desk and how I store everything, I've also lost my all my jewelry. I can't think of what all was in there. I need something and I can't find it. But anyway, um, uh, these fit in two and a half of the square boxes. These are the bigger ones. And I'm going to show you how I will be using those on these centerpieces. If I have, right now I've got six centerpieces. I've got one. I'm not using those with the same purpose because they don't match. But that's okay because I can show you with these that do match. And I got the frog. And I'm going to take these out now. And the frog and the frog and the her. One, two, and there should be three frogs. So I need another green. Do I have another green? Going once, going twice, do I have another green? Um, yes, I do. And this one isn't really, really green. This one is more of uh, a teal. So I'm going to get rid of that one and that one. And I don't have another of the swamp green, so I'll use this one. Doesn't matter. There. Those are going to be for the, what I'm going to work on. But anyway, I will show you when I'm done. I'll kind of pan my camera over, take some pictures to show you how they stack. Um, and, and again, they're all, I can see what I have and I just stack them up in front of me. Uh, I've got my seashells for my water under the sea centerpieces. Um, got a couple of the bows. I think I have three. Oh no, I've got four. <laughs> got a whole bunch of bows, guys. And these are all the same kind, but when I make my little princess girls that have the bows on their pigtails, it takes two in the front and two in the back. So you automatically use four, and that's why I order, ordered as many bows as I did, because um, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but I'm sure I have. I hate running out of things when I'm in a project. I hate when I don't have a lot of options. Um, I like to have a variety of things to pick from. So number one, everything is very unique. Number two, it's just more fun to do rather than doing the same old thing all over and over and over again. I got these little half circles that are red and black, um, check, um, white, and I'm finished. Uh, those I just use, uh, I've used them on some of my videos. These are all my metal buttons and I've got little, um, different kinds of little metal accents, buttons, and stuff, and there's also some big honking square uh, gems. Uh, there's these little key rings. Typically, I use these on my little five-inch books. Um, you can clip them shut and hang things dangling. Um, I like to dangle things off my books. But anyway, I got some pretty cool stuff in here. Oh, an angel. 
I get there's some really really neat things you can get and I've got a bag of old jewelry to cut apart to take the beads and stuff off of that but again I cannot emphasize how much I like being able to see what I have so when I'm working I'm going oh I can't wait to get to that and get to use those and then I have a little one full of the, the little leather tassels love these things too um, and I don't know if I mentioned yet, but just in case I haven't mentioned it, I absolutely love seeing what I have available to you. There, I won't say it again, guys. I'm through. Um, but the thing that I'm having with organization is my husband redid my office, and I absolutely, it's, it's awesome. However, my organization, since I moved everything in, has not been up to par. That's mainly because he did it when school was getting out and I, I take care of my grandkids. And in the summer, I it's hit and miss every day how many I'm gonna have. So I don't even try um, to organize this. But they're all on vacation now. And so I have no kids for five days. One of them is weekend, but five days I have no children. I know that sounds mean, but I take care of grandkids every single day for 14 years. So uh, it isn't like I am not paying my dues here uh, for encouraging my children to have so many kids. You know, they're so, so freaking amazing, though. I, I, I understand them not wanting to stop. But stay tuned, because I'm sure this year I will be having... Another one in the oven. Don't yet, but my intuition tells me I will shortly have another one. And next year, there will be yet another one. Um, and that is going to be iffy if that will be the last of them, which will leave me with uh, 19, 17, 17, 18. I don't know. But anyway, I've got two kids that are not through yet. My two sons. Both my daughters are done. One has seven. One has four. One has four. And they have all made the decision to have as many kids as they have because we had four. And they they absolutely loved it and to this day. My kids are the best friends, all of them. These are the, the, the satin bows. Notice how I just jumped from one thing to the next? The reason I do that is because when I'm watching a videotape, like for instance, I'm really big into watching the workout tapes. I don't like it when that person doesn't talk and I don't like it when there's a lag. I, I don't I don't like that. I was in customer service for years and when I would have, when I'd be doing something for one of my outside techs, he was configuring, doing something that takes a lot of time because um, I was working in, in networking. Um, he, I would just always talk because I didn't like the thought that maybe they hung up on the other line or they thought I did. And so I don't, I don't find it to be good customer service when you can't just idle chat with your client customers, even if it's just to ask them, how's your weather where you're at or how their day's going, whatever. And so field techs always wanted to get me when they called in because they said everybody else was grouchy. And it wasn't that they were weren't grouchy, or wasn't that they were grouchy. It's that they didn't talk. I don't like in that area, guys. I don't. I know it. I recognize it, and I blame it. Okay, I'm gonna stick these under here, and we're going to do some more. Um, these bows. God, I have an obsession with bows. These I love because they're so big. And on the um, little uh, little girls, Divine Digital Diva is my, my go-to for my files. And the big, when I make the, the centerpieces two feet tall, I like that the big bows on those. That's what I would use these for. The only thing that I don't like with these is that there's two of every color. And so I can only use these when the little girl requires 
one bow on each side, or I do them where I put, if I've got two peach and peach and green might be the color scheme, I can put two peach on the front or one in one of each, or two, two of one color on the front and two of another color on the reverse side, or again, one of each. Um, like for instance, if it was a Mickey Mouse or a Minnie Mouse, I could put a black and white polka dot and a red and white polka dot. However, she only has one bow and it's right in the middle of her head, so I don't put any on her. There you go, guys. That was a total waste of my talking. So, let me see. Now, here is a... Can I forget I have all of this? Um, big pearls. Now, these would most likely be used on my two-foot princesses from Divine Digital Diva. Um, the big ones, because these are big pearls. And... I wouldn't put my little tiny ones on, on there. So, there we go, we got another bin here. My machine is taking up my space where I want to step them out of the way. Okay, and some of this stuff here, I don't know what it is. And so what I'm going to do is, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that box, and sometimes I have a hard time um, throwing things out, you know, and out of sight, out of mind. But I think, oh my gosh, that's a rock. I could use that rock. I should not throw that away. Um, I'm going to put this over here for right now because I also have a little pail that I throw on and ends or when I go later and I find some more of that stuff somewhere that I didn't know it was there, I will throw it in. And I'm gonna, I don't think I have anything more to box up here. Oh, see, here's some beads that were my mother's. And all I do is take them apart or use them as a strand. However I want is what these will become. But I do not need all these little tiny. See, I couldn't see what was in there. So I would have forgotten. Um, on some of my work, I would have forgotten I had ah, the perfect thing. Oh, guess what I found in here? My spoon in my bag from my yogurt. My husband came in with the bag and I had my yogurt in one hand and, and I don't know what else I had, but my hands were full. So anything that was not going to make a mess and could be thrown in a bag with all the stuff he bought me, that's what I did, and what was that loud ding? Okay, I'm gonna throw that over there, and this is gonna go in the red bows. And let's see. <laughs> it's a little full, so they're kinda hopping out at me. But they won't be full for long. Okay, so, got that all done. Now, for right now, because I have nowhere to put these, I'm going to, um, show you in one of my boxes. This box was stuff that my, this was a drawer by, my husband made for one of his pieces and it turned out that it didn't fit. I don't remember what happened. Guys, I got buckets full of ribbons here too. See, I can't, I can't remember them when I'm, I just, it's awful. I don't remember what I have because I can't see it. So I'm going to pour some of these in here. I might not my, I might not even get to putting together this these uh centerpieces if I keep this up. But oops there's some cute little bows. This will um, lessen the amount of space that is being taken up on my desk, my workspace, because I have a couple of big boxes like that. And these, I just stack up in the corners and are up against the wall that I don't use when I'm using my desktop anyway. Um, in here, I keep, uh, this is all bling in this pa packet here and packets of different kinds of bling. And, Beads, brads, uh, gems, buttons, 
uh, yeah, all, all the different kinds of things that you would be using when you are embellishing your work. But um, I'll show you like this, so everything doesn't fall. This thing is full, but I can see what I have in it. And this here is full of buckets of ribbons. Yep. See, I went and ordered all these ribbons I didn't need in this one. Okay. I think that somebody's texting me or messaging me. I'm going to put this back up here so I can get working on... And no, guys, I'm usually not this clumsy. And not because I would have taken it down. Oh, one other thing that I got is I take the part flowers that I buy at Hobby Lobby or whatever, and I pull the tops off and the leaves. So this bucket is, this basket's just full of leaves that I can use and some pieces and, and different, the flower tops and um, that. I couldn't find them anywhere, the colors I needed. And so I went on Amazon and ordered silk ones with gems in the middle. And um, I ordered, I guess I must have ordered two different, no, they're the same colors. I ordered a couple packs of those. I use a ton of, fl a ton of flowers. So this is full. And then I have in the corner of my office, I have a, a big tin pot that's full. It's like a, a flower arrangement, but those are not flower arrangements in my office. Those are flowers that I use. Also, I've got things here made as flower arrangements, but it's what I use when I'm, when I'm crafting. These I got, uh, I, it's a, it's a toss up for me whether I like the silk or the paper better. These are actually paper. I think they're paper. Maybe they're silk. They're sure different. Let's open them. I just got them, so I'm not real sure. This is going to explode on me. Hmm. They're not paper, but they're not silk either, so it doesn't really matter what they are. But anyway, there's my flowers now. Um, this I had gotten, just to give you an idea when you see things, uh, and say it might not be something you use, and if it's something you think, oh man, this would be really cool on such and such if I ever was to make, if you were to ever make it. Um, I don't know what I did here. I'm trying to straighten these out, guys. Knocked them out. Because I'm being uncoordinated here while filming. That's a shock to, to, to a lot of folks, but... Um, I got these for like 99 cents at Hobby Lobby. They're wood, or kind of a press wood, press board. And they they were hanging, um, which were for like a, a Hawaiian halua or something. Anyway, I used them. I bought them because they were on sale really cheap. And again, looking at them and thinking, oh, I could use these on something. This would be really cool. So I bought them. And they hung on my wall over there where I have tons of stuff hanging that I think I'm going to use. But must have been a couple weeks ago, I did baby Moana centerpieces. And my husband now makes the wood base. So what I did is I drilled this with a peg hole through the center. And I put this on top of the wood base that he had. And I put her standing on it. So the wood base, it was like this. So cute. So I finally got to use and made use of the uh, things that I bought that I had no use for. I put those in my flower basket so I don't forget where they are. Alrighty. And these can go who knows where. For right now, I'm going to consider them flowers because they are. And these, let's see what we got here. Thank you for something. And I have no idea what. And it's a bunch of, I don't know what it is came in something that I bought and I don't even know how to open it and I don't know if these are pop dots why would I get pop dots I'm sure that's what these are so they look like
They are. They're not pop dots, so they're just stickies to stick. Uh, you peel off front, they're just papers with sticky backings, which you probably could use when I send people pop dots that don't really need pop dots. They just need something sticky. So these need to go somewhere where I can see them, so I use them. I got three packs of them, so I don't know what I bought, but they must have thought I needed them. They knew what I did for a living, so they sent them to me. And on my little cook road, here they go. Okay, now we're gonna start on her. I've got my bin here full of my wood. Here's my medium depressors. Here's my big ones. And here are my pegs. My husband has been cutting my pegs out for me. I don't want to put anything here where we're not gonna be able to see. You know what, I'm gonna take a pause and come back because I forgot to bring the bases up and I wanna stand them as I go. So I will be back in a flash, maybe, if I can turn this thing off. I guess it would be easier for me to just push the button. Okay guys, I'm back again. Um, our, our children, three of the four families, um, all went on vacation this past week, in the past few days, they've all kind of in, gone in different directions. One in, one's in Canada. Um, I don't remember. Um, this is terrible. One's in the Ozarks um, with my daughter-in-law and son are in the Ozarks and went on family vacation with her family. But anyway, the reason for mentioning that is because this is the first time, I think the first time ever, Ever that all my kids have gone on vacation the same week, um, and neither Papa nor I are with them, and I'm loving it. That's why I might even get some scrapbooking done because I have four days consecutively without kids taking care of kids, or every weekend there's an event going on. So anyway, I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, we went, my husband and I went to Costco yesterday and needed one thing. We got there and ended up spending $400. And I said, you know, I thought, oh, thank God it's not all food. I said, we got some Christmas shopping done. And, um, now I got to figure out how, how or who's going to get it. We bought a, 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 like a street cart, of course, for children, little types or whatever. And it is a, an ice cream shop and Play-Doh, which I absolutely hate play-doh however this thing was too freaking cute and my two littlest ones that i take care of are obsessed with play-doh and so they have a play-doh station out in the garage so um my daughters whoever ends up getting that is going to say that's going to stay at your house and if they don't say that i'm going to say it because i take care of them so it's going to stay at my house anyway guys uh that was off the wall but I'm working on baby Tiana. I've got her all glittered and I use the glossy in her eyes and on her mouth and on the nipple of the bottle. Then on the nipple of the bottle, which was pink, I took some of my uh, liquid pearls. Uh, they're stickles. Let me see what they're called. I can't even remember. Stickles something. Stickles, pearls, liquid pearls by Ranger. They're not sticker, stickles, they're by Ranger, liquid pearls. This is what. When I first started using these, they reminded me of puff paint from back in like the 80s, 90s. I don't remember when it was. So I had a really hard time adjusting to using these again because whenever I put them on something, I thought, yeah, that looks like the 80s. However, as I started messing with them more and more, um, on this one frog, I ended up doing, where does other body go? Uh-oh, I'm missing a frog. Here he is. This has to be him. Yes, I used it to outline his body. Uh, you can't hardly see it, but the color was just spot on. I ended up using it to try and 
given the texture of a frog, I don't know how many people out there have ever touched a frog, or I'm sure everybody has in their lifetime. This kind of, I, I don't know, the, the texture of it when it dried and the looks and stuff, I really liked it. The problem once that I had is that they, since I haven't used them since I got them, God only knows how long ago, they're kind of gotten thicker and they're really hard to to squeeze out. So I resorted to, I kept poking a pin in it and doing everything could, but I, I think I'm going to have to get new ones. But I'm not going to get new ones until I make sure that I'm going to use them. So anyway, um, those are the things that I used. I'm going to put her together first. And now I'm going to show you, this is a perfect one for me to show you how come I use the little balls. I got to figure out how I want her to be sitting. Is the back of her dress touching? Is she leaning a little? And I'm going to say she's going to be like this. So we're going to bring her up a hair. Now, when I put my peg in, my husband's my professional peg cutter. He's really proud of that position he's been given. <laughs> and he makes me faces. And he does my packing. And he's in control of re restocking all of my packing materials and ordering my boxes and everything. I would not be doing this any longer if it wasn't for my husband. And I put the peg in long like that. It's about an inch and a half long. And I'll show you by why when I get her put together. Um, love these uh, long presser. Uh, I always call them tongue depre depressors. These are called dumb, dumb, tongue depressors. The smaller ones that are people are probably more used to seeing, and these great big ones you get at Menards, and I love them. I think they're like two dollars for a package, and the package doesn't have but thirty in the pack. However, this one stick takes uh, covers as much space as it would take with the littler ones. And the one advantage to the bigger sticks is when you do get them put together, they're thicker and. I don't know what the reasoning is for it, but they don't show when you put the front and back. I, I don't see all these popsicle sticks that when I used to use like a hundred popsicle sticks on one of these and all you could see were the lines of them. Guys, can you hear my mouth is starting to act up? It's starting to, starting to stick. So I'm going to have to finish. Oh, here's a mint right here. My husband went to get me something this morning. And, um, at a health place and they were talking about uh, he was talking about what if they had any recommendations there uh, for this burning mouth it wasn't it was more like holistics or something I don't even know where it was he went didn't even know where he was going and they the thing that I had with the burning mouth um, is required medications that have ultimately caused dry mouth because it's not the burning mouth that's causing the dry mouth. It's the medication for the burning mouth that's called causing the dry mouth. And the dry mouth is what's causing me to have so many trouble with my teeth and I have to go to the dentist like every 90 days to get treatments, fluoride or something to protect them. Um, because dry mouth is, is a killer on your teeth. They need that saliva. Um, and the only way I can make it is if I eat a mint. I have to eat something um, that, like a mint. Uh, yesterday I found some sugarless cinnamon candies. Anything helps. And I've been taking them. I used to take sugar-free cough drops every night. I'd eat a pack a day. And I've tried thing after thing after thing, and I'm so sick. Uh, I've got boxes of cough drops because I've always kept, I should say, bags dumped into boxes with lids on them all over the place because I have them everywhere, everywhere in my purse. I carry them everywhere. And I switch to these mints and sometimes hard candy, whatever, because I get so sick of it. But <laughs> the guy at the, wherever he went this morning, told him, he said, well, that is never going to go away and she's never going to get rid of the dry mouth. 
um, if she doesn't just get her teeth pulled and and get all her teeth pulled and then be fine. I'm like, okay, that sounds like a real solution to get all my teeth pulled to prevent the dental issues, but that does not help the burning, burning mouth, which is the medication for that, which is causing the dry mouth, and it will still be on that medication. So even though they pull all my teeth, um, that wouldn't be the solution because I still would have dry mouth from the medication. So I don't know if I said any of that right and don't really care. And I'm, my bracelet's sitting in the glass. That drives me nuts. And I know it drives somebody else nuts or other folks nuts too. But got a little dab on whatever. Glitter must be here. I was talking on my last video, I think, about this thing that started this audiobooks. Um, and I just started one, The Throne of Glass. I think I'm on book five. <laughs> I'm telling you, 27 books I've uh, gone through in the last six weeks. Um, somebody says, where do you have the time? I said, have all the time because we take care of kids all the time. So when they're playing and I'm sitting there watching them, I'm listening to my book. See on the bottom here, when I go to put this on a base, which you can't tell here because it's way too long. When you set it and I cut the peg down so it sets flush with the base, there's going to be peg here showing because this part here of her shoe is going to hit this wood first. So this is going to be higher up in the air. So part of my peg, maybe only this much, would show when I put them on. I personally don't like any peg showing. I have seen numerous people that make the pegs real long and they stand real I don't like it. I don't like my, my peg show. So I started using these balls on the end. So that way it lifts, this ball lifts this up enough so it can sit down flush. Well, it doesn't have to cut it. I made it too long. I always overestimate, but I would rather overestimate than under. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> Rocket science here. Okay. Then when I put it on my base, it sits flush. I do not have to have that ugly peg showing because this part touches the wood first. Now, some of you may not like that. Um, or all of a sudden I will start seeing a bunch of centerpieces done with a ball on the peg. It's unbelievable how many people now and I'm not tooting my horn. That is not anywhere near where I'm headed with the, what comment I'm going to make. But I happen to know where, what it was when I started doing this 13 years ago to what it is now. Um, and I remember when I first started making these, these centerpieces. This is when all these machines first came out. Because I had been in the business using the Cricut. Then the Silhouette came out. And... I was using a thing called Sure Cuts, I think it was scales, that had a conflict of interest with Provocraft so they could no longer um, make the software to be compatible um, with this Sure Cuts a lot, I think it was called. I don't remember. But anyway, I did a lot of transitions and things and, and learned the hard way how to make these things, these centerpieces. And now I see... <laughs> Everybody is at all these shops on Etsy, and I know, I know um, where the ideas came from or whatever, because uh, that it's things that I've been doing videos on these since I started the business, which was probably really, really stupid of me. My husband and I always said, why would you show how to do it and tell people where you get everything because um, this is what happens now. Etsy, there's a God knows how many shops. The exact same thing, the exact same bases, the exact same, I mean, 
they came off my YouTube, which 90% of my business is from my YouTube, but not only selling, but uh, the competition. But uh, um, I have a sneaky feeling I'm not going to be doing this much longer. I just... Um, I, I'm, I'm getting burnt out. Probably getting burnt out because taking care of kids and doing this is just a lot. And I've, I want to enjoy my old age, my retired years. My husband and I both retired, and I am anywhere, anywhere but retired. Taking care of kids all day and doing this, I am not retired. I am not. But we'll see how long or how much more I can handle this. It's really kind of hard, too, when you're doing it as a business and all of a sudden it's like handed out the handed out the business to a bunch of people now. Oh, anyway. My um, daughter-in-law works with me, but she's got three kids, and it's like the same thing with my other daughter. My other daughter tries to help out too, but they, they've got so many kids, and I keep telling her, you can't do that when you've got little kids, and they're all in sports, and the little ones aren't in sports, but they need mommy's attention because... My one daughter that just keeps asking me if I've got work for to do, I get I said, "Yep, I got some here for you. Come and get it." And and this is what I need to have done. And she never sh showed up. And she went on vacation. And I said, "Well, that's a talk she got back yesterday." And I said, "Well, it would have been nice if you would have told me that, because um, she just she doesn't have the time. She thinks she's got all the time in the world, but um, after having raised four kids." She's got seven, two are independent, but she's got five little ones, and they all, not the babies, she's got a one-year-old and a three-year-old, they're not in sports, but the other three are, so it's something, softball or, or gymnastics or, oh, actually, my grandson just started gymnastics, three-year-old. But having raised those four kids that are the parents of my grandchildren, I know how much time it takes. So kind of doing this on my own, and it's... I love it, but what was the saying? Man's got to know his limitations. So Samantha and Kelly, the only two names I can ever think of when I think of scrapbooking, um, that would be what I would be doing is just scrapbooking and maybe just filming scrapbooking just to give people ideas but not doing the business anymore, the business side of it. I don't know. I haven't decided. I'll give anybody ample notice. I, I would not leave anybody hanging that's my party planners or anything like that. It's from one day to the next. I never know what I'm going to do. Okay, we're going to put my little ball on here. Um, do not put your glue on the peg. See, there I go. Giving away my secrets. Um... Don't put it on your peg because it will slide down when you slip on the hole. It'll pick up some of the glue, and that glue will get all over your peg. Then your peg will no longer fit in your base. So what I do is I put a little bit of glue in the closure. Oops. I, <laughs> I'm sitting there showing my computer. My computer's sitting right next to my camera, so I'm showing my computer what, my, what I'm doing. See, this may be why I can't do this anymore. I'm going crazy. 
although I've been there for quite a while. See, these are the bases my husband makes. And he has a router and he routes it so it's got the finished edge, just like the ones you would buy. And um, he makes them in three different sizes for me. He can make them any color I want. And I never run out because he makes furniture. He always has scraps of wood. So here's the second one. Um, duh. I didn't even finish what I was going to do. I want on her shoe, I am going to put a flower. I can't believe I forgot that. I got them all out. So I have to dig around. And then I got these little sheets that I absolutely love to get at Michael's. It has multicolors of, of little individual gems. I love them. So there's some though that they're, they're, taped or whatever the sticky backing on is um the whole the whole strip is on one sticky so you have to cut them i hate those these little ones that they have on the enders and ends of the aisles they do not um have that sticky on them and it's so much nicer to not have to cut them off she's got a little flower with the gem on her shoe. And this might be a little bit bigger than what's on there, but it's what I have. And I don't think it really much matters. There we go. That was what I was gonna do to her. And what else was I going to do? I think I'm going to throw a few gems on her headband up here, just to give her a little bit more sparkle. Figure out what colors I guess it would be. I'm, I'm gonna do them in the green. I'm gonna do one of my bigger ones right in the middle, and then I'm gonna do the tiny ones on each side. Okay, yeah, brace is gonna have to go, guys. It is too noisy. Come on. I should be using my pick-me-up stick. I will do that on the rest of them that I'm not filming. I'll use my pick-me-up stick because that's too hard. I just put a few on the top of her crown. Let me get my pick Get me. I lied. I'm going to grab my pick-me-up stick. If it's easy for me to find. Which it might not be. It isn't in there. I bet you it's in here. And if it isn't in there, then I'm going to have to worry about it next round. I can't see it there either. I don't know where it is. I don't know where they are. I have more than one. I tell you, I absolutely love my the redo on my office because I those white. I absolutely love the white. Um, cubbies that I had. Uh, I love the, that and it was very reasonable when you get them 50% off every time I got one of the, the cubies. But they are not durable. I had nicked them up with my shoes, my boots, just anything. Spilling coffee down them. Just so the way that we went here it's pretty impossible to mess up. There we go. Now I got the little gems on her and her little flower with the gem in her shoe. Um, I will go ahead and finish putting these together. I think that I've made this plenty long uh, and then some. So I will be back with whatever it is that I'm going to do next. I have no idea what it is, guys. No idea, but you will see me when you see me. Have a great day and everybody be safe. Bye-bye.